This is a ride at FRO Starkwater, uh, August 22nd, 2024. We're starting from the parking lot and heading along the trail that parallels Darkwater Road itself. Yeah, we're looking at the uh, hill at the top of the climb that we're going to hit in a couple of minutes. Um, they set it up for climbing and then closed it because I think too many people got hurt. This is the old entrance to dark water before they got all fancy. We used to come in this entrance. It's a nice day. It's uh, 70 degrees and sunny. Um, quite quite a pleasant day to be out for a ride. This is a bit of an off-camber uh, trail into a pit. We used to use this as a play area when we were warming up. Typical FRO rocks. No, I know. I, I think it's gone. Yeah, look at him. There is this road, but I don't think that road goes anywhere either. Yeah, it looks. Well, this is the old trail still, but who knows what's up there. Right. Well, there used to be some single track back this way. Yeah, that's probably all gone. I don't know. Let's go look. So they closed, closed off and actually literally cut away the mountainside down by the old Vomit Hill. So I've met on this single track in quite a few years, but uh, we'll put along see what it looks like. Clearly, it's not getting a lot of use. There's a lot of overgrowth. So there's Jeff on his uh, electric bicycle motorcycle thingy. He treats it like a trials bike. It's kind of cool. This is clearly a stream bed. Even more rocks than usual. Wow, this bit, this big wide trail is new. This used to be very narrow. Just basically two jeep tracks. Mm -hmm. 
This is the standard climb up to Pond 1, also known as Kelly's Hollow. Don't know who Kelly was or when it was named, but... And Jeff is taking off to the right, up this little hill. That's uh, Chris Kostaris' warm-up hill in the olden days. Chris was a lot more willing to ride up rocky hills than I am anymore. Here's the pond and the famous chute. Go. And Jeff's blasting up it. Of course, with the electric bike, it doesn't make any noise. That's the fucking... The first time you took me here with... <laughs> so that thing... <laughs> that top there with the rock is a problem no matter what. <laughs> It always is. <laughs> it would be a real problem on the 150. Well, you just need to have more gas. <laughs> That's what, yeah, and then bigger accidents. More catastrophic. Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe not the greatest place to swim on. Pretty clear. This is a fairly new trail they put in a couple years ago for these two hill climbs. I'm going to stop at the first one and take a look. In just a couple seconds, here we go. You can see it's blocked off with an orange banner. Uh, apparently they decided it was too dangerous or too many people were getting held, hurt on it. It's really steep. <laughs> and you can't see the top. When we get up at the top, you'll see there's a gentle slope and then it hits that break. Really? Yeah. And here's another one. Yeah, we didn't we didn't hang around that one. It was just another impossible hill. Now we're going to climb up to the peak, this little overlook area. And this is fairly steep on the climb. Computer saying 20 degrees. I'm not sure if it's quite that steep, but it's definitely steep, and we're way up here. I don't think anybody's tried this in years. This is the entrance to the Hunt Club, which was closed to FRO uh, permit folks up until, I guess, last year. They obviously leased the land. I don't know if it's obvious, but FRO gained permission to let us ride on the land. It's nice to have a couple extra miles of trail. Inspecting the end where the, uh, the club still is. Center Pike Hunt Club. What's this? You and I did it. It's got some slick mud drop downs with rocks. Okay. It's I just can't, I can't, I can't remember. It has 
four here, and it kind of tends you down toward lake number two. Okay. Yeah, this one is the one that has the one. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bit of a drop, but uh, it's pretty short, open, not a big deal. It's not even all that rocky. This one is steeper and rockier. So Jeff pointed me to the right side. I'm not completely convinced this was ideal. drop into the woods by Pond 2, which is also known as Whimsy. Had more speed here. But we take a break because this is a, a nice, pretty place. Have a power bar, all that stuff. overlook that uh, looks across the valley and back up towards the parking lot or trailhead. Yeah, I'm going to go out and hang a left. Yeah, Jeff is foretelling that the trail that I wanted to take is closed, but uh, we'll see. It was closed, so we're just heading back towards the trailhead. Uh, when we get there, we're going to stop by the trailhead, and Jeff is going to swap out the battery on his bike. We probably could just ride on. He's still got a fair amount left in the battery, but we're practicing these quick pit stops. This trail that we're going down now parallels the trail we went up. This one's a, a lot less rutted out. Um, you could probably get a pickup truck through it.
there's a really large bowl off to the right. I'm pretty sure that uh, a bunch of Steve Lamb's videos show it, but uh, we don't go down climbing in it. This trail's getting kind of overgrown too. It's also pretty steep and rocky. They're rocky mostly and kind of steep. It gets a little steeper uh, in a couple hundred yards. This is a little more rutted out than I remember. Looks like Steve's having some trouble getting up on the other side. I'll wait till he clears it. So we were back at the trailhead, Jeff changed out his battery, now we're going to drive on down and see the storage lot, here it is, it looks kind of like a prison, big tall walls, all kinds of barbed wire, multi-coils and all this kind of stuff. So we're going to drive up right close to it to make sure we get to, on all the cameras. A couple of dry line buckets there. It'd be cool if you had like a big 4x4 four four to store it here. Not sure what that power substation's for, but it's clearly very old. And this is a power line cut. Probably to take you down, take power down to the Wadesville breaker. way steep so we decide not to go down the way steep one we'll just take this sort of simple uh, rutted trail back up to the trailhead
There's the containers that they use for the office. This is a fairly new trail. Almost looks like single track, but it's really wide enough for a Jeep. Nice little ride through the woods. Hey Steve, yeah. want to swap bikes? This is the event parking lot at FRO. They use it for assorted campouts and stuff. They used to have it for general parking, but they've closed off the trail back up at the trailhead, so. Probably too many people were sneaking in and, and camping. This area was heavily wooded when I first started riding here 11, 12 six years ago. Not quite clear why they cleared it. Maybe they just wanted to sell the lumber.
Well, that's a dead end that Steve's going down. It turns real rocky. Go tell him not to do that. I was just going to turn around and go that way. You should turn around and go that way because this is way too bad. Oh, this is crazy for anybody. I was going to watch these guys. And the little road that follows down on the right there isn't all that. Good but either. if you could get your front wheel to come towards me about three or four feet, then you could use that big rock. Or any other big rock. Oops. That happened. Do you need help? Yeah, where's the key? There's no key. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I feel whiskey shot away. Yeah, I think that was what you did. I think you did that pretty good. <laughs> Let me get this out of here for you. There's the climbing rocks. Need to get Gucciardi back here. Have him climb all over them. And there's the drag line again.
and here we are pulling back into the trailhead.